we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. 40-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. This is 1947, not 1927. Of course a girl can ask a fella out. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. What exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass for? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? How can I help you boys? Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks? Try another number. 20? Try 10. You feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Mark here. Maker's Mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner.
We should keep this development with the rings under our hat. Tell us We're all on the same team, Russ. Chain of command, Phelps. Skipper will decide who needs to know. Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. The smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. Another missing ring. Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. Good morning, ladies. This is a chit for personal items, not booze. It's not even worth investigating. I got this gadget whiz guy putting recording devices at the place for me. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. The Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Hey, can you give me a hand? I got a hard case I need to break. Want to leave me alone so I can get some work done? Go play in front of the trains. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. It's not against the law. Shut up. There's no Take law your against it. Like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop. Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Did you 
you take any money? Wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde, you get this sack of shit into a cell. I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. Good morning, ladies. Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Phelps Badge, 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. do for you. LAPD, Phelps and Galloway. We're making inquiries into the murder of Evelyn Summers. Evelyn? She's dead? You knew Evelyn Summers, Mr. Robbins? Yes, I knew Evelyn. I was a good friend of her ex-husband. She kept some of her stuff here. Can you show us, please? Sure. Come this way. You got some fine stock here, Mr. Robbins. Well, you let us take some for the road, this case might get solved a lot quicker. He's joking, Mr. Robbins. She wasn't always such a loner. Evelyn was reading Aristotle? Evelyn wasn't stupid. The only stupid thing about her was her need to drink. And she was borrowing books from Grosvenor McCaffrey. I'm guessing Evelyn hadn't held down a job for quite some time before she was killed. Rawlings Bowling Alley. Maybe Evelyn did something other than drink in her spare time. Rawlings. I know that place, corner of Ninth and Grand. A lot of cops bowl there on Tuesday nights. When exactly did Evelyn work in the pictures? A few years ago. 
towards illegal copyrights for music. We're trying to account for Evelyn's movements yesterday. She came by in the morning. A social visit to pick up some of her things? She had a couple of bucks and bought a quart of rye. Any idea where the money came from? She didn't mention it. But she did say the booze was a present for a boy. She said they had been fighting and she had to make it up to him. Were you and Evelyn close, Mr. Robbins? How many people will be sad she's gone? I'll be one of the few. I got the impression that Evelyn had been sleeping rough of late. It became difficult for me to have her stay here. Her mother was trying to get her back on the straight and narrow. She's old now. And to be honest, you have to have a good reason to want to get back on it. Do you know a friend of Evelyn's by the name of McCaffrey? Not personally. We're struggling for leads, Robbins. Did she know McCaffrey? She idolized him. From what I gather, the feeling was far from mutual. He seems to peddle a revolutionary stance, fixing the ills of society. You could see how it would appeal to down and outs like Evelyn. Thanks for your help, Mr. Robbins. No problem. Hey. I'd like to make arrangements for the funeral. You think I could get in touch with Evelyn's mother? Put in a call to the watch commander at Central Station, Mr. Robbins. He'll be trying to reach the next of kin. Thanks. Get the guy, huh? Evelyn never hurt anybody. Drink, fellas. Phelps, Galloway, homicide. We need to ask you some questions concerning Evelyn Summers. I'm Walter Match. Evelyn Summers, what is it now? You knew Evelyn? As well as I wanted to know Evelyn. She's a pain in the ass, always coming in here, cadging drinks, never had any money. She was in just a couple of nights ago. Did she ever tell you where she was staying? I don't know. I think she was living rough. She had that kind of stunk about her. Who did she drink with? Uh, a bunch of these guys. Ask around. What's your name? Grosvenor McCaffrey. Mind if I ask you some questions, Mr. McCaffrey? I'm just a starving writer, detective. What do you want to ask about? Evelyn Summers and why she was found beaten and strangled in the rail depot on Santa Fe. Okay. I see your point. How well did you know her? I can't say that I knew her. It was more like I was aware of her. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. McCaffrey? Nothing serious. I've had a few skirmishes. Do you want to save me some time, or do you want me to look up your file? Industrial disputes. Strikes, workers' rights, that kind of thing. A regular fifth columnist. Nice to meet you, comrade. You say you barely knew Evelyn? Yes, that is correct. You're lying, McCaffrey. You look down your nose at Evelyn, but you knew her, and you have some idea of what happened. 
I hope you're holding aces. I'm telling you again, I barely knew the woman. Why would you lend her your book on metaphysics if you only knew her in passing? It was more than that. A renaissance man like yourself lending his books to his acolytes. She hounded me about that goddamn book. And then she lifts it from my apartment and lies to my face that she didn't take it. As if she could even comprehend any of it. I saw her go into a hotel with Tiernan last night. They had booze in a paper bag. He's your man. Thank you for the information, Mr. McCaffrey. The captain is downstairs with Ray Pinker and Carruthers. I gave his wife a cat. I said, "Don't." Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down in one round. I don't need this. What's this about, Captain? Ray and Mal have some concerns over the Henry and Muller cases which I don't want aired outside of this room. The evidence is solid, Captain. I agree, Rusty. It's just that corpses keep piling up. Copycats. I've been banging the same drum. But the notes and the lipstick messages. Evelyn Summers, cartel classic Carmine. Each woman, same brand, same color. Teresa Terrelson didn't have a lipstick message. Technically, you're right, Rusty. She didn't have any lipstick. But she did have a message. We found it beneath her dress, scraped with a sharp stick. What did it say? You sure you want to know? Ray? As far as we can be sure, it said cunt BD. That's one way of looking at it. Looking at what? Cunt is all about access, Phelps. You're married, so yours is mortgage. Some of us like to pay by installments. This guy doesn't like to pay at all. Why are you so angry, Mal? Because I just had to fire one of my assistants. He was a friend of Jameson's. God knows what he might have been up to. Captain, we have good leads in the Summers case, but it's up to you to decide how we proceed. Keep this under your hat for now. And to follow up on Evelyn Summers. I want daily reports. We got our orders. Back to the Summers case. Get an address for McCaffrey. He'll have blown the bar. I'll meet you outside. Goddamn Bruins are having a season from hell. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down with my sap. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks. 